Hey guys, Mars Singer here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we're jumping in to do another one of the 19 and Dr. Jero Red Zone missions. Uh, there is one to do the event with four Android Test Cell Saga allies on the team but I figure we might as well just run a full Android Test Cell Saga team, try out the uh, tech trunks, see if we can get a decent showing out of him. Because uh, remember, these event missions that they've added, they put in a category restriction and a no item sort of restriction to make the mission itself a little bit harder because the event itself is not super, super hard. So some of these other units like AGL, LR Gohan, who have maybe fallen off a little bit in terms of the hardest content in the game, uh, will still be very useful uh, in these events, right? So, um, although this is kind of awkward. Because we don't have... Uh, if Gohan doesn't get... If we don't lose any health during the first part of the turn... Uh, future Gohan at the end isn't going to have any... Um, isn't going to have his damage reduction. But uh, Super Vegeta, I thought it would be fun to bring him. He gets guaranteed crits against Androids. So, kind of fun for this stage. I guess we'll just go all in on Android 19 here and see what we can do. Which is get supered immediately. Man, just think about like going into the, one of the toughest events now and having AGL Gohan get supered immediately in slot one. It would go significantly worse for us than uh, it has here. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> 6.3 for you. It's not bad. Get the guarantee crit. Pretty decent damage. I mean, this, this uh, Super Vegeta, he's like an okay sub EZA, but... He's perfectly made for something like this, right? Where it's just like a special mission in an event where we fight an android. And then there he goes. Triple super. They're all crits. He actually just might kill him here. And then there you go. Future Gohan's just free to attack Dr. Jero. Pretty solid first turn. Oh, we had double tech trunks turn. Oh, God. I just realized there's literally no... We have no slot one units on this turn. Well, I did not realise that was our starting rotation, so that's a huge rip. We're probably just dead now. <laughs> I mean, maybe if he doesn't super immediately, we'll only take like 100, 150k or something from the normals, but... That's oh, only 30. We actually did guard. Okay. Oh, and then we dodged the super. Okay, Trunks. Sorry. I, uh... What's that meme where it's like I was unfamiliar with your game? With the, uh... Is it Shaq? I can't remember. Damn. Alright, well. Trunks with the dodge and then uh, guarded the normal and then dodged to the super. That's, uh... uh we'll take that, I guess. <laughs> Getting the full tech rotation is probably not really what we uh, what we were looking for here, of course, but... Hey, triple super. I love this unit when they first came out. This is such a great what-if unit. Unfortunately, it will be a long time until they get their easy A, and they're pretty uh, irrelevant in the meta now, sadly. But yeah, Trunks did that to sell later on. That is definitely very possible. I mean, getting all these extra attacks here, though, is good. Because we want, do want those Trunkses to attack as many times as possible. So we can get the transformation and then, like, active skill and everything. So that, that works out quite nicely. Um, right, you want stacks and I want some health. So we'll do that. Get a ton of healing. This works out quite nicely, doesn't it? Um, all right. W turn. So... Gohan might kill. And obviously, remember, with Gohan, we have the potential to transform, which... Actually, the funny thing is, I brought Gohan this time, but do we even want to transform if we can? Because isn't the Kamehameha, once he's transformed, just a key blast? Because he doesn't do any attacks first, which means they'll just absorb it. Um, so we probably don't even want to transform. But yeah, future Gohan transforming, so he has his uh, damage reduction. Let me double check, actually. Okay, good. It isn't. Good. Uh, right, so let's do the uh, active skill for you. Mm 
<laughs> Tipos for dominance. Oh, it's a key blast. Well, it still action breaks them, but. Or does it? Does it? I guess not. Hmm, we have one in the family with you, so that's what? 119k defense, and that's 136. Uh, well. You know, I didn't really think about that a huge amount in advance. Uh, how many characters on this rotation are going to do a Key Blast Super? Most of them do attacks first, right? I think on this rotation they all do. Alright, Trunks, need that card. Oh, I mean, he did guard. Oh, my goodness me. He did guard, but damn. The attack, should, the attack actually has to connect to action break. Yeah, unfortunately, that seems to be the case. Um, oh, wait, yeah. Doesn't their super hit harder if, you, if they absorb a super attack? Or it might be all their attacks, which unfortunately might mean Gohan and Gohan, uh, Gohan and Goku at the end might actually get killed. And it's two attacks. I guess it depends how many supers they get, but... I mean, this could work out quite nicely if, uh, if we survive the turn, because then AGL Gohan will transform. Okay, we got a triple super. This is our best chance at surviving, although I don't know how much damage they're going to do here. If Tech Trunks was taking 60k with guard... Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. My goat's over here. Uh, right, well. It's been a while since uh, we've done this. Oh my god, that's got to be the worst orb change. Oh, are, you, are you actually kidding me? Bro, come on. Ah. What even is this? I mean, I can't like... Because I can't really put anyone else in slot 1 on this turn, realistically. Yeah, I'll just get the 12 key super then. Bruh. What an absolute outrage. Uh, yours are not. Neither of yours are. Yeah. Absolutely shocking behaviour there from those orbs. Although I suppose, yeah, the 18 key is a key blast, so... Yeah, two orbs AGL Gohan. Let's see. Let's see him cook. He takes damage from normals. Let's go. I mean, at least he can do damage because the 12 key. I do like his 12 key super attack animation as well. You don't really ever get to see it that often. Although, to be fair, we probably just win now because he does get defense for the turn on the 12 key, doesn't he? So he should be fine to survive here now. And then future Gohan actually might just kill them. Future Gohan is uh, pretty good in this scenario. Well, I guess it depends what, how many attacks he does. He has damage reduction. Of course, his full damage reduction active after he's attacked. Nice. Now, I guess it's all down to whether Trunks guards or not, I suppose. <laughs> and yeah, if he gets supered, it'll probably just be GG. Although he could triple super technically, and then he would actually just kill them. He didn't triple super. Ah, he dodged and guarded. So, I mean, decent showing from him, to be fair. And now we just win because of the super trunks active skill, so... Which we can't use. Oh wait, oh wait, you have to be above a certain amount of HP, don't you? 
Is it 50? Yeah, no, 60. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe if we did this, it would, uh, we could heal enough, but nope. Oh, well, there we go. I mean, Super Trunks, once he's transformed, actually has guard, so he probably would have been okay in slot one, I guess, but I put Gohan there because he had damage reduction. He has that damage reduction, just in case we got supered or something. But I mean, there you go. It was uh, not the prettiest run, that's for sure. But the 19 inch row Android slash Cell Saga mission, uh, beaten with the Tech Trunks team. A little bit of a shaky, uh, <laughs> shaky run. But action breaks not count as debuffs. Um, yeah, no, the action break is a result of them, I guess, being like taking damage from the attack. But yeah, I mean, Tech Trunks did all right, right, especially that. I mean, the early turn we dodged that super, that was pretty great. So that's pretty good. And we did actually do, we did two missions. Oh, one of them was probably just the daily one, to be fair. Because we've been just trying, um, we were trying the Saviors ESBR attempts. So it's probably just one of the dailies, yeah, for clearing a stage. But the uh, mission, good old Mission B. I don't know why they still display them like this. But yeah, Mission B. Uh, completed with four Android slash Cell Saga characters on the team. Of course, you just have to bring the four so you can bring two other better units. But I thought we'd do it with a full Android slash Cell Saga team just for the fun of it. But yeah, let me know what team you guys use down below to complete this mission. Um, I know the one that's probably going to be the toughest, which we'll probably do a video for next, is going to be this one. Four physical type characters on the team within five turns. So let me know how you guys got on with these missions uh, down below in the comment section and what teams you use. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.